Hello, welcome to this video. The module 2 of basic electronics we have seen, all the topics are discussed. In this video, let us see questions from 10 important topics we can expect in examination. The first question is logic gates and truth table and the symbol of those. Here we need to understand which are basic gates and which are universal gates. This question will be asked many times in examination to write which are universal gates and why they called so, which are basic gates and why they called so. Basic gates are AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate and they are called basic gates why because using these three gates we can realize any boolean function. Similarly why universal gates are NAND and NOR means these two OR gates are called universal because we can realize any uh, circuit or a boolean function by using only NOR gates and only NAND gates without using any other gates. That is why they are called universal. This question is very important. And then bias tables with truth table and symbol. Explain SR bias table with truth table and circuit. And similarly explain JKR D bias table with truth table. This SR and JK bias tables are asked many times in many subject and also in examinations. So these two are very important. So here we need to understand Z state in 1 1 as input. And 1 1 as input in JK bias table the output will be toggle, right? It is not Z here. The output state will be called as toggle in JK by stable. In D by stable, the single input is there. When D is equal to 0, Q will be equal to 0. When D is equal to 1, Q will be equal to 1, we can say. This is very simple. And conversion from one number to other numbers form is very important. This may be asked to, uh, asked to calculate from uh, decimal to binary, this is the method to uh, convert a decimal number 163 to binary. Here we are not supposed to forget, we need to read the numbers from bottom to top, once after the division. And hexadecimal to binary, if the hexadecimal number is given, the base will be 16, our base will be represented as H. Okay? And how to convert this? A single hexadecimal bit will be having 4 binary bits. A single hexadecimal number will be having 4 bits. So, 4 bit equivalent has to be written uh, to convert into binary, total will be uh, represented with the base 2 that is a binary representation. Similarly, binary to hexadecimal, while converting from binary to hexadecimal, we need to start grouping from this end, we need to take this path, 4, 4 groups we need to do and the equivalent of hexadecimal numbers we can write. This is also an important question for exam. And microcontroller system is one of the topic in the syllabus included. Here this is a CPU very important thing and memory we need to explain in brief. CPU will be consisting of an ALU and input and output ports we need to show any outputs we can show like speaker, motor, relays, indicators, some displays like that and inputs may be switches, sensor, keypads like this and this is an uh, crystal oscillator we have studied in the first chapter. So this is also an important concept for exam. And then realization of boolean function with basic gates. So any function can be given like this and asked to implement using only basic gates. Basic gates are AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate. By using only these three we can implement any given function. So here the example is given as a plus b into a plus b bar. So a b bar can be generated like this. Here is the B bar from generated from a NOT gate and by using two R gates and one uh, AND gate we can get this functionality. So any expression can be given and asked to implement. And half adder and full adder, these two are very uh, familiar questions you can see in any exam papers. So here we need to write the circuit for sum as well as carry and also write the truth table for all the possible cases of input. Here also the sum and carry is given. So sum can be written also by using basic gates. Here also sum can be generated using basic gates. That can also be the uh, way we can answer this question. And multiplexer, 4 is to 1 multiplexer is again a very important question where A, B, C, D are the inputs, two select lines are required. This can be implemented by writing the expression for Y. Okay, Y can be uh, write with an expression accordingly the implementation is done. How the expression is written I have explained in the video you can watch that. And the next question very important question is a shift register. Here in the shift register we will be having a 4 bit shift register 
this is what the 4 bit shift register designed using JK flip flop and uh, different types of shift registers may be asked in the exam. So serial in serial out, serial in parallel out, parallel in serial out, parallel in parallel out. These four can be explained in a single circuit like this. If parallel input is required, you can explain through a parallel input over here and serial input from here and serial out and parallel output will be taken from Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. We can explain these four with a single circuit but we need to choose the path accordingly. And then asynchronous counter, asynchronous counter here in, the, in your textbook it is given for 3 bits since it is asynchronous we are not giving the clock to all the inputs all the flip flops clock will be given to the first flip flop the second flip flop clock will be the output of the first flip flop here there is a connection. So this is the clock to the second flip flop this is the clock to the third flip flop we can take the outputs here Q2, Q1, Q0 and this Q0 will be the output Q1 will be the output and Q2 will be the output. Similarly, this will act as a clock, this will act as a clock for the next flip flops. This is also an important question we can expect. And the last question is 3 to 8 decoder. Decoder is uh, 3 to 8 here means 3 inputs and 8 outputs. 3 inputs in the sense we will be having 0, 0, 0 to 111. All the combinations of inputs I have written here. Accordingly, it is decoded to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And this one will be appear over here for the second set and up to if you go up to 111 you can observe how actually the coding will be. Again here we need to write the expressions for D0, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6 and D7. We can write the expression by taking wherever 1 is there and here also wherever 1 is there for D1, D2 and how the expression will be written I have explained in my video. And this is the circuit by using basic gates. So these 10 questions we can expect in examination from this particular chapter. Thank you.